How's it going everybody, Noble Warrior 99 here, and today I am back with another Daily Destiny video. Now in this video, I wanted to switch things up a bit. Now, I wanted to talk about the top 3 auto rifles that you should pick up before the release of the Taken King. Now Bungie announced in their weekly update a few weeks ago about the weapon nerfs and weapon buffs. Now in this update, it was announced that auto rifles were going to be buffed tremendously. Now in their weekly update, Bungie announced that the changes for auto rifles would include increasing base damage, start damage fall off closer to the player to emphasize its role as a close to medium range weapon. It also announced that there would be a small reduction in base stability, landing shots at an optimal range is unaffected, but repeated precision hits require more weapon control to land consistently. And lastly, there's also a boost damage by 10% against AI combatants. Now this is just in PvE, but increasing the base damage is a big start to get auto rifles back to what they once were. Now for the first auto rifle that I wanted to show you guys is the pest control matrix. Now this weapon is very good for PvP and for the perks that I have on this weapon I have crowd control and third eye. Now even when it isn't fully upgraded this weapon is an absolute monster and it's definitely a good weapon to use if you guys are looking to use auto rifles when the new update hits in the Taken King. Now for the second auto rifle that I suggest you guys picking up is her right hand. Now this can only be obtained from the Prison of Elders, but it is definitely worth playing for. Now this weapon has the exact same rate of fire and impact as the Pest Control Matrix, which makes it a very good weapon all around. However, this weapon feels a lot better in my hand, and when I am holding the controller and firing the trigger, the kills that I get with it feel freaking amazing. Now even when it's not upgraded, her right hand is very good in PvP, it rips through the enemies, and even if you can't get the kill with it right now, because of the old auto rifle nerf, you can still fire a few shots on them, get close, and get the melee kill. Now for the perks that I suggest getting on this weapon is either crowd control, feeding frenzy, focus fire, or third eye. Now I'm not exactly sure which perks go on which nodes, although third eye does go on the second node on the right hand side, while crowd control is on the starting node. Now moving on to the last and final auto rifle that I would suggest you guys picking up, we have the Summoner Adept version. Now if any of you guys do not know how to get this, this can only be obtained in the Trials of Osiris. Now if you are not lucky enough to get the Summoner Adept version from the chest in the lighthouse, you can also pick this up sometimes from Brother Vance depending on his stock that he has for sale. Now last week Brother Vance did in fact have the Summoner, but I actually ended up getting the Adept version from the chest last week. Now, like I said before, I have not upgraded this weapon, but even at its unupgraded form, it is an absolute beast and gets some pretty easy kills. Now, this weapon has third eye and hidden hand. Now, this increases the target acquisition on the weapon, and you also have the radar at the top left-hand corner whenever you are aiming down your sight. Now, if you guys want me to do a more in-depth review of each of these weapons individually, just let me know in the comment section down below, and I will try my best to do that. But I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. If you did enjoy, drop a like down below and subscribe for some more Daily Destiny content. You guys are freaking legends, and I love you. Thank you very much for watching. This is Noble Warrior 99, and I'm out. Peace.